we can use power automate to post adaptive card or link to business central record we have a special option that is a special uh, action which is available in power automate that is get url and get adaptive card action so that is what we are going to see now so let me just open any one item okay in order to create the flow so i'm just going to use the item list okay and from that i'm going to select an item card in order to create um automate flow so the business value of this particular uh, thing like a uh, power automate uh, adaptive calls and url is being to able to blend power automate flows into conversations in microsoft teams allows for enriching conversations with useful insights so here you can see we have an option called power automate okay you can see here uh before uh, trying to do this this is in the preview mode okay this is very clearly it is in the preview mode and you can try this only in the preview environment so you can just go ahead here and click here and click on the power automate you have two options one is the create flow and second one is the manage flow just click on the create flow okay it will take you to the power automate that is while creating a flow if you already created any flows you can find the existing flows here and if you don't have any other flows it will show you that you don't have any other flow okay so you have to click this create from blank so we are going to click create from blank so simply click here create from from blank it will take you to the power automate okay so now in this wave that is 2023 wave 1 microsoft have added two new actions in business central connector that is get url and uh, um uh, adaptive cards okay so here this is the basic one so from uh, for a selected card v3 what are the environment name which we want we can give this okay uh, because this is optional if you want to give this you can give so you have to select the environment name so where you have to find this environment name just go to this place that is your business central uh, page and you can see this here this is the environment page okay and then you can select the environment and what is the company usually i, I am working with only the uh, cronus so i am just giving and if you want to specify any specific page or table you can specify or else you can leave it simple uh, so now we can just go to the new action okay in this new action you can try business so once if you type business it will tell you some op uh, options business central if you type business central it will give you few more options so you have two uh, connect uh, actions connectors here okay two operators so one is business central cloud and second one is business central on prem so if you click if you just move your cursor on that it will show you what is that okay so this is business central and this is business central on premises so if you click on business central since i'm using a sandbox environment so i have to go ahead with the business central so if you click on this it will show you various actions okay this are all the actions which are already there and i want to show you what is the new one so one is the adaptive card you can see and another one is the get url you can see here okay so this adaptive card at get url we are going to just try it out uh, so let us just proceed with the get url first okay get url v3 so here you can see the environment company page and row id so environment as i already told in which environment you are working with you can select that environment okay copilot preview and the second one is cronus usa this is the company and the page id okay if you know that page id you can give it okay what is the page id uh, so you can select that uh, you can simply give like uh, even here you have a page id and here in the row id we can just going to select with a system id okay so here you can see we have uh, these options okay environment environment is the dynamic 365 business central environment which we are using it and the second one is the company the dynamic 365 business central company and the business central page id you can specify either the page id directly 21 or 22 if you know the page id or else you can give it like page id and row id which is a unique identifier of the row to retrieve the url okay so this is uh, this is the basic understanding of get url and once if you click get url you have to get it in the teams right so i am just adding a new step here and you can simply type teams okay uh, 
or you can even simply type post okay this is related to the posting something in the team so post message in chat or channel so here you have an option post message in chat or channel so i'm just going to click here post message in chat or channel and here you have an option post as okay post as a flow boot it should it will be like a flow boot and post in where you have to post it you have to post it in the channel okay and you can see what is the team name if you wanted to add any team name you can add it so as of now i have this team okay and the channel what is the channel you can just go ahead with the general okay if you have any specific channel name you can just go ahead with that and here you can select web client url okay and this is very simple you can simply save this okay you can see here that it is showing api connection get v3 url it is saved now api connection and let us save it let us save this as well okay it's saved and let us go back and we will test it power automate or uh, let us refresh it because it has to change the name to test url okay now let us go to uh, power automate so here you can see you have a test url you can simply select this test, test url here and once you select it it will show you an option in the right side if you wanted to run the flow okay let us wait for that it is uh, it is just logging in and if you click just to click on continue okay and if you click on the run flow okay the flow is running and we will wait for the wait for the boat to send us the message let us also see whether uh, this flow has executed properly see here you can see that you have received the url in my teams okay you can see the url here okay this is the team name and this is the channel i have given and you can see this is business central uh, copilot preview company so this is completely it is showing you the uh, information and also it shows the test url here so this is how this get url works in business central so in the next video we will see how to use the adaptive card in business central